Michael. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use the displace filter in Affinity Photo. Now, first thing to do, actually create something to displace. Just going to create a very basic fill, and that's just a filler. Now, I could be using a photo or some other object in Affinity Photo. And now, what I need to do, you can use the filters and distort displace. That's an option, but that's just a one-off effect. So you just apply it and that's it. Probably best is a layer, a new live filter layer and displace filter. Now, just go over to the layers and you can see the displace filter there. You can remove it if you wish, just remove that and delete it as well. Now, just go down here. You see a little dialogue and you can modify the strength. Has no effect at the moment. So what you need to do is load map from file, select a file, PNG file, and not PSD files, PNG files, load it, and there's also blending modes and opacity and that, those sort of things. So if you want to reduce it down, you can see it just fades away. Now, another option, you can modify the strength. It's, that's good, and obviously you can apply any number of PNG files. You just go and select another PNG file, apply that. Now, there's another option, and this is load a map from layers beneath. So instead of going for that one, you can just click that, and you'll notice that nothing at this point really seems to happen. There's a little bit of unusual effect there. There's nothing beneath, so what you can do is actually add something beneath it. So and now I'll just go to File and Place. And I'm going to select that PNG file, but it doesn't have to be a P that PNG file. Of course, there's numerous images you could use. You could use a sort of photo, text, whatever. But select that PNG file. And you'll see you get a little stamp. It looks like a little stamp tool. And you can just drag that on. I'm just going to go for fill most of that document. So there, yeah, that's reasonable. So what you can do then you can actually put that below, and that's the key thing here. So you can actually just select that, and then just drag that down. Make sure it is actually below, so you can just see it below there. Now go back to the displace, double click on that, and you'll see, let's say, the option load map from layers beneath. Just click, and you'll see it now, there it is, it's actually loaded. Doesn't look particularly great, that one, but you know, you can obviously use different maps to create different effects. So you've got, you can again modify the strength. And of course you could also apply blurs and other things to make a, a slightly better effect than what I've got there. Now another option is of course at this point, is the fact you can remove the background. So you don't actually have to have the background there. So you can just go remove and now, you see you've still got the effect because it's still there as far as it's concerned, still fine. Now, another option, and I'm just gonna remove that one. Don't want that one at all, just get rid of that. Still got the effect, perfectly reasonable. It's just stored it in its resource. Now, another option you can go to is a layer and new fill layer. Doesn't know really much at this moment, but you can actually go down here to bitmap, select the bitmap, and then select the PNG file again. And you can zoom in, you can see what you can do then. You've actually got the you can resize it, which is quite nice. So you can resize it. Now that has no effect at this point, but you can drag that down to below, and you can see that doesn't actually do anything this present this moment. But just go back to the displace filter. Double click on that and now just go to load map from layer beneath and you see then it actually takes it so it just brings it in it's kept the old one before that brings it in now it's loaded it you can see the layer below okay so what you can do then of course you can actually still remove that one if you don't want the background obviously it's you can actually see now the displacement behind and you can still you modify the strength, go the other way as well, modify that. Now, if you go there and you think, okay, I can resize that, you can still resize that. 
you'll notice that nothing changes. Again, it's the same issue as before. You actually have to load it. So just back to displace, double click on that and load a map from file. Now you'll notice it doesn't do anything, which is really odd, but the trick is you need to actually have it visible and of course it does make it easier then to actually manipulate it. So you can actually move it around and resize that. You can stretch it out a long way. Now you can go back to displace. I know it's a, it's quite a few steps, but it's a, that's the way it's done. So now you can say load map from layers beneath. And then you can see you've actually loaded it. That's the key thing. It's actually visible. You can then load it. And then you can, of course, remove it. And you can then obviously modify the strength without having to worry about the background. That says a few more steps, but it's it still works very nicely. And you can modify and create interesting displacements. Like I say, it can be anything else. It can be photos. It can be a whole range of different items. I hope you found this quick tutorial of interest. Thank you much.